are you this morning? I hope you still happy, healthy, and stay at home ya nak ya. Now, who still remember what we learned last week? Yes, we learn about the word problem. Nah, today we will learn about word problem of multiplication. Nah, who still remember what is that you have to do every time you see a word problem question? Very good. Same with last week. Every time you see a word problem, of course, the first step that you have to do is you have to circle the clue. After you circle the clue, you have to make the bar. After make the bar, you have to make the answer. And the last one is, of course, you have to make the answer or the conclusion. For the word problem of multiplication, they have a different clue. The clue for word problem of multiplication is the each, the group, and the total. Same like a multiplication. Nah, for the clue is the each, you will be found easily on the question because later every time you see the word problem of multiplication, you will see directly the each of the question. Nah, for the group, the group is anything that can be used to put something in. For example, boxes, bottles, tables. A classroom, anything that you can use to put something in. The total is all part of the object or the total amount of the object. Now, to make the bar for the word problem of multiplication is first, you have to make the long boxes who still remember what is the long box for yep very good the long box is for the group after that we have to make the arrow anyone know what is the arrow for yeah the arrow is for the each nah we already have the each, we already have the group. It mean, it mean, I have the curve here. The curve is for what? Yeah, very, very good. The curve is for the total. Now, mister, how to find out? Is it the bar for division or bar for multiplication? Let's find it out. Now, the next clue, if we don't know the total, but we know the each or the group, what bar we have to use? Yep, you already correct, we have to use multiplication bar. How to make it? Nah, same like before, don't forget, you have to make it tidy and make it straight with the question. Make a long box first. And then, for example, the group is 5. We have to make 5 boxes inside the long box. And then, we know the each right. For example, in this one, we know the each is 3. And then, like in the clue, if we don't know the total, 
it mean the question mark on the total now if the bar is like this it is called multiplication bar it mean of course the way will be multiplication now the next clue if we know the total but we don't know the each or the group what bar that we have to use very good we have to use division bar but mister how to make the division bar nah the division bar actually same with multiplication bar but the difference is the position of the question mark now let's make it together first same with the multiplication bar you have to make a long box first yeah don't forget to make it tidy and then straight with the question okay here is the long box now in the clue we know the total for example the total is 30 Nah, and then we also know the group 5 mean we have to make 5 boxes inside the long box and then because we don't know the each of course the question mark is on the each now be careful when making the arrow the arrow length is only until one box not until here yeah this is if we don't know the each now if we don't know the the group is same with this one you have to make a long box first okay and then for example same we know the total right we know the total is 30 T. So, and then we don't know the group. So, make the cut line and then put the question mark on the group. And then, because we know the each, for example, the each is 6, of course now you have to make the arrow on the arrow is 6. Okay? This is how to make division bar. It means if your bar is like this, it means the way is division. Now let's practice. Mr. Fabian has three bottles of water. Each bottle contains five liters of water. How many liters of 